Hey guys, we're up in Michigan hanging out with Kate at Rock Cycle Service. We're going to talk a little bit about her Ultra Glide and motorcycle. Ultra that everybody calls the Galaxy Glide, and I just love motorcycles. So did you name it the Galaxy Glide? I did. It didn't kind of like start out that way, but the way that the paint job turned out, everybody started calling it the Galaxy Glide. I think Charlie actually called it that first, and it just kind of stuck. It's so sparkly. So. So how did you get into motorcycles? Uh, a couple years ago, one of my friends asked me if I want to go on a trip with them, and I ended up riding on the back of his bike. And I've never been somebody to like ride passengers, so I came back from that trip and absolutely had to get my own, so that's what I did. Yeah? Yeah. How was that? Was it right away super easy? Absolutely not. So no one in my family rode before. Like I bought a bike and my parents were just absolutely not for it, but... Um, I can relate to that. <laughs> yeah, so I like tried to ride it and I didn't really have anybody to teach me, so like, I didn't really ride it. It sat for a long time. It was a 883 iron. And then I ended up signing up for the class and on the test, I grabbed a fistful of brakes from the front and back, laid the bike down, so I failed the class. And then I finally like hung out with a group of older people in my area that rode, and they got me back on my bike because I was all like freaked out. I was never gonna ride again. <laughs> and they ended up riding with me every Tuesday, so we did like a Tuesday night ride every Tuesday. And I got my permit, and then was able to ride with them every week and get comfortable. And then I rode a sporty for like four months and decided that going on the highway shaking the whole time wasn't really for me. And I bought the Ultra after riding for four months and we've been best friends ever since. <laughs> okay, so two things that just kind of blow my mind. You bought a bike before you knew how to ride. Yes. <laughs> That's impressive. Uh, it wasn't though. <laughs> it sat for the longest time, but. And then you went from a sporty, so a small bike, to this. Yeah, so my friend that I actually rode with for the first time ever ended up passing away, and I'd been sending him, um, I think it's a 2018, to like, blue denim with the eagle in the front, I'd been sending him that bike forever, like, oh my god, I want this so bad, like, this is my dream bike, and he's like, oh, like, go big or go home, you just gotta do it, and then he ended up passing away, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go big or go home, find a bike that I want, and get it, and that's what I did, and it's been great ever since, so. Nice. Yeah. So did you go to the beach for that vacation? No, we didn't. We actually ended up going to Ohio. We were supposed to ride up through Michigan and do like the tunnel trees, but a big storm was like coming through. So we ended up going south. I think we rode down to like Margaritaville. We really didn't even ride that much. It's funny that it was like a bike trip, but yeah, we ended up going down there and just drinking and hanging out and had a good time. So. Didn't know if it was like the, the beach trip that we did one time and you end up on a moped and it's like, this is a little bit different than <laughs> my <laughs> So you mentioned Renegade Babes. Yes. How did, how did you get started with that? What was your inspiration there? <clears throat> so I had been seeing like a lot of pages that promote women and post girls and stuff all the time, but every time I'd see them, like their ass was out, their tits were out, and it was always about like sexualizing women. And I really wanted to start a page with my friend Kenzie that was more about women who actually ride, women that put the miles in, people that, you know, build cool things or they wrench or they weld and just wanted to like showcase women's talents and not like their bodies. So that's kind of how the page started. And then I started to create some t-shirts to kind of like get the name out there and be this community of like badass women that support each other. And it kind of just took off from there. I just kept making shirts. I like draw the images up on my iPad and then try to screen print them myself and stuff. And it's just been uphill ever since. So it's, it's really grown into like a big community of women all over the United States and Canada, really kind of everywhere. I just shipped out to Australia, but um, nice. Just women that support each other, that do cool things, that ride, that put the miles in, and it's it's been really cool. I've met a lot of my cl 
close friends from like all over the United States through it. So it's been great. Speaking of putting in the miles, I know obviously we're up in Michigan, so it's a little chilly. Probably not that much time during the year to ride. So how I guess how often can you actually ride up here? Um, you can pretty much ride like fall through the or like spring through the fall. Um, not really in the winter, but a couple winters ago we were able to like actually ride. There's about one or two good days a month that you can get your bike out. So like two years ago, Charlie and I both got to ride on Christmas Day, which was pretty cool, pretty rare for up here. But a lot of us like to like take trips to go south. So um, in the spring of this year, when it was still cold up here, Charlie and I went down to Florida and got to ride and stuff. And, Last fall, I rode um, from Michigan out to South Dakota, and that was pretty cool. So it's nice to like get away from the state a little bit. Was that for Sturgis? Um, it wasn't. I ended up going to Sturgis and stuff, but I like wanted to go experience the actual riding when there wasn't a million people. I'm more about Good like idea. yeah, I'm more about like going places and actually putting the miles in and riding cool spots instead of like you know going and hanging out, hell yeah, brother type of stuff. So. <laughs> So would you say that riding a South Dakota was the coolest ride that you've done? Probably. Needles Highway is really cool, and like the mountains and stuff was amazing. But I mean, there's a lot of cool places that I've been able to ride, but kind of want to ride like everywhere and see where the best spot is. Do you have any riding goals for next year? No, but I want to go to later this year. I guess the year's not over yet. <laughs> yeah, I want to be able to like ride to a lot more events. I got to go down to Dream Rides Tennessee and you know, go to the Smoky Mountain Tour and that event, that was really cool to like meet so many people. So I think to just actually go to more events, obviously ride, but go to more events to meet more people and network and meet cool girls that ride. And what I'd really like to do is start showing up to events because like when I went down there, I noticed that there weren't a lot of females. And I think if, if more of us got out there and started showing up to things, that would encourage other females to start showing up to things and we could really have like a presence in the industry. So, so what was your inspiration for this build? This badass bike you got here. I kind of just picked out everything that I liked. I chose colors that I like, products that I like, brands that I like, and put it together. Very nice. Um, so how long did it take for you to redo the bike and make it what you wanted it to be? So it only took um, one winter. So this was just a plain black bike. Everything was chrome. And then I saw Split and Fatty was doing decals, which you can't find him anymore. But um, <laughs> Charlie was like, hey, look at these decals. You should totally get one. He had like palm trees, cute girly colors. I'm like, oh, absolutely. You so I think like how you just, it just all spiral. No, that's exactly what happened. So I hit him up, um, I sent him, I have a fox suit that's like a snowmobile suit and it's like mint and black and I'm just like obsessed with mint and black. So I sent him that color and I'm like, I want some purple in it and I love skeletons and like creepy stuff. So I like sent him this exact design that I wanted. He drew it up and I got it, but my bike was pinstripe. And I'm like, well, can't stick a decal over pinstripe. So I guess I'm gonna have to repaint my bike. And then I really liked the look of the CDOs where they have like all the flaking and stuff. There's like a gray and black CDO with the hard face. I really liked that. I was like, oh, let's like spruce it up and make it a little more girly. So we did pink, purple, and green. This is like a custom flake mix. Um, we sent it down to our friend Billy down in Ohio and he painted this whole bike for me. It looks killer, but then we kind of just pieced everything together. I did the mint wheels from uh, SGS Powder Coating, which is a local place and use prismatic powders. So. Yeah, it's been great. I pretty much handpicked out every piece on this bike, so everything's purpose built, or you know, all of our friends' companies and stuff. We have Screaming Speed and Fast side covers, and Charlie's shop, Rock Cycle Service, printed on my bike. So <laughs> it's been cool to like support my friends through like my bike build and stuff. Yeah, that's, that's very cool that you're able to do that. I think it, the bike has come together very well. Thank you. Can you tell me about the duck? Yeah, so my friend Lexi has like a little duck on her dyna. It's super cute. They squeak and they light up. And I was like, oh my god, the duck's so cute. So she got me one and I put a little renegade base bandana on it so the duck could be part of a girl gang. And then I painted the helmet to match my wheels. And then I ended up getting Charlie and like a couple of the local guys' ducks. And there's how like machine guns and like eight ball helmets and just crazy stuff. And we're like the duck gang. <laughs> I was going to ask you guys a name for you. Yeah, the duck gang. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I think one of the most unique things that you told me about was the uses for your cup holder. Yes. <laughs> so everyone makes fun on my cup holder, and Logan Rides makes fun of the cup holders on TikTok, but I get to go down the road drinking slushies, milkshakes, it holds tacos, really whatever. I have a mod helmet, I flip it up, I'll be eating my tacos or drinking a milkshake <laughs> going down the road. And it's great. It's perfect for road trips, so... 
The worst for me. I guess that's when you're riding with just your feet up, right? Exactly. You put them right here on the floors. You need a taco. Yeah, absolutely. Like everybody's hating on it, but they're not hating when I'm rolling down the road, drinking and eating. <laughs> But like going back, to <laughs> so you mentioned that the riding season in Michigan isn't very long. What the hell do you do in the winter when it's so fucking cold outside? Build bikes, pretty much. There's always a million projects going on in the shop. So if I'm having to build, or Charlie's having to build, or one of her friends, like all of us kind of come together and work on it. And I mean, I make merchandise and stuff during the winter too, so that's nice. Okay. Do you? Snowboard or anything of wintery outside? Yeah, I actually ski. I used to snowmobile. I don't really do that anymore just because you can only have so many expensive hobbies. And the motorcycle kind of <laughs> took the cherry on the top of that one. But I like to ski and like get outdoors. The dogs and I go for a lot of walks and stuff. So. Yeah. Okay, so sassy pants. Is there a story behind that? There really isn't. It's actually like super embarrassing. So like I started my Instagram in middle school and like my parents always got pissed and I was like so sassy all the time. So it just kind of like stopped. Like I was like, oh, sassy pants. And then I thought about changing it a few times and like everybody just refers to me as sassy now. So I'm just like, ah, it is what it is. Like <laughs> I figured maybe if I started like stunting and stuff, like I have a ground to do wheelies and stuff. I figured if I started doing that, I'd feel like sassy stunts, but I probably will never change it. It'll always probably be sassy pants. Okay, so stunting, oh have, you, have you played around with that much? Is that just something you're like, that's pretty awesome, I want to I wanna do that? Yeah, so I see chicks like doing wheelies and stuff, and I'm like, oh my god, that's so badass, like I want to do it. So I've been doing it a little bit, but it's all been kind of like self-taught by myself, like just on a little ground, ripping around. And I just started doing it this fall, so I haven't had much time in yet, but I'm hoping by like next summer, get some pretty decent wheelies in. Charlie told me that... If I start like creating content, doing videos and stuff with me wheeling, that he's gonna get me a sporty to wheelie, so I don't crash this thing. <laughs> but <Good>. I'm super <laughs> excited for that. That's like a good drive to like actually learn. So yeah, you can also work up to doing wheelies on this too. Uh, why not? <laughs> <You know? laughs> There's so much money in this bike. Oh, then you just gotta get a new one. I guess. Also <laughs> weighs like nine times the amount that I do. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, so I've seen photos of you riding with your dog. Yes. <laughs> how how did you come up with that idea? How did you even train your dog to do that? So I have an Australian Shepherd, and she's been in hot air balloons. She's been on jet skis. She goes like surfing on a she's wakeboard. A she is. I wish I was as cool as her. <laughs> but um, I was just like, you know, if she rides on the jet skis, like maybe she'll ride on my bike. So I bought a K9 Sports app, and she essentially like just gets strapped onto my back. And she has goggles too, I always get like a bunch of shit for that, but she doesn't like them. So I just put her in a backpack and it's supported for like up to 80 pounds and we just ride around. And I like, don't go on a highway or anything with her, but we'll go cruise through town and stuff and see what else is going on. And that's been pretty cool. Take her to the pet store to get bone. Pretty much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very cool. I'm sure not many other dogs can say that they've ridden a motorcycle. <laughs> Probably not. Dogs and hogs. Oh, there you go. <laughs> So you've talked about the brand that you've created, we've talked about your awesome bike. Do you have any advice for either new riders or women who are looking to get into riding but maybe are a little bit too nervous to take that first step? Absolutely. So what I would say is put the time in the seat. You know, I know a lot of people that have wanted to quit, myself included, like I crashed a bike trying to take the test, like, you know, stuff like that. So I would just say keep putting the time in the seat and think about how bad you want it. Like it's easy to quit and all of us have been there, but you just have to keep trying and keep trying. And the more time you put in the seat, the better you'll get. And honestly, you'll never be ready. A lot of women are like, oh, you know, I'm not quite ready to learn yet, but you know, this is something I want to do in the future. But if you wait until you're ready, you'll never ride. So just get the bike, practice, put the time in the seat, and even talk to other people that ride, talk to other women, talk to other short people. You know, it's hard being a shorter person riding all the time. You know, sometimes I can't touch and people will have to help me park or whatever. Just don't be embarrassed about it. You know, some of us tip over at the gas station. A lot of people have tipped their stuff over. Like, we just need to normalize it and make it a normal thing and just keep pushing yourself. Keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, and you'll get it eventually. So sticking with the ultra glide, not, not moving to a Pan Am anytime soon? No Pan Am anytime soon. <laughs> I can't actually touch on a Pan Am, but I would eventually like to get something smaller just to mess around on, probably do some wheelies eventually if I can. And You know, this bike's pretty heavy to just cruise around town and stuff. I love it for long trips, but it would be fun to get something 
let alone like jump off the sidewalks and the curbs and stuff. So, <laughs> a little parkour. Action. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for talking to us today. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Well, I mean, you had us come up here, so thanks for having us. Um, where can people find you if they if they want to reach out with questions or anything? Absolutely. Like they can find me on Instagram. My name is at sassy underscore pants with two S's. Or you can check out my merch at renegadebabes.org. Okay. Shameless plug. <laughs>